An investigation is underway in Atlanta where a single-engine plane crashed onto a freeway yesterday, killing four people. They were flying to a family celebration. As Mark Strassman reports, the death toll could have been higher. This cell phone video shows the highway fireball moments after impact. The pilot had radioed the tower right after takeoff. He was having trouble climbing. Then he said, going down. Motorists saw a plane 25 feet in the air and struggling. It burst into flames when it struck the median. And as I turned to get on the 285, boom, an impact. I'm, I'm just up. Up. Gerald Smith saw the plane head right for the semi he was driving. It's like it coming directly in my windshield. I slammed no brakes, and by that time, the plane came directly across my hood. It grazed his truck moments before crashing. Made my way out the truck to seek it out help. By the time I got over there, it was blazed up so bad. It, it wasn't nothing nobody could do. The plane was a Piper PA-32 like this one, which seats six. Four people, Greg Bird, his sons Christopher and Philip, and Jackie Kulzer, a fiance, were heading to Ole Miss to see another son's graduation tomorrow. Fire Captain Eric Jackson. Right now, uh, FAA uh, and representatives of, of NTSB are here on the scene. They are taking a look at the scene, taking a look at all the parts and everything that went into just how this plane crashed. The debris has been removed, the highway reopened. What went wrong is unclear. DeKalb Peachtree Airport sits in a congested residential commercial area. For a pilot in trouble taking off, the highway is one of the only options. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Mark Strassman, Atlanta.